I want you to see two mistakes that people make with the law of God. So let's look in the book of Romans chapter 3 and verse number 20 today. It says, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. What does that mean? The knowledge of sin. The Bible says that the purpose of God's law is to give us understanding, to be able to see knowledge, to understand that we have a problem with sin, to be able to see that sin when otherwise we may not have been able to. Yesterday, I was driving on a new road that I had not been on before. As I was on that road driving, I saw the sign that said 100 kilometers. So I was driving about 90 kilometers an hour, well under the speed limit. I came over the hill and there were police. And when they saw my car, they pulled me over and they asked me, do you know why we stopped you? I said, no. They said, you were speeding. I said, I saw a sign. It said 100. And the lady police officer said, there was another sign that said 80. I said, I'm sorry, I did not see that. But that lady police officer would not let me go. Do you know what she did? She wrote me a ticket. She did not do what most people do, and that is, they say, if you do not know, then that means you are innocent. She did not say I was innocent, no. She said, I was guilty because I should have seen that sign. When you and I look at the law of God, the law of God informs us, it teaches us, it explains to us what sin is. Look at the sixth commandment that says, Thou shalt not kill. But Jesus tells us that if we're angry with our brother, we have broken this commandment. Now, you and I may not have ever killed anyone, but I am sure that you have been angry with someone in your life. The Bible says you are guilty before God. The seventh commandment says thou shalt not commit adultery. And maybe you have never slept with your neighbor's wife. Maybe you have never been with your neighbor's husband. But the Bible says that if you look with lust in your heart upon another person, you desire to have them sexually, you are guilty of breaking this law. They explain to us that we are guilty before God and we do have a problem. Now that's the first mistake that most people make. They think if they do not know what the law is, that God will say they're innocent. But God says, no, you are guilty because you have broken these laws and you should know what those laws are and understand what I require. But there's a second mistake that is often made by people. Most people believe, as I was raised to believe, that somehow keeping the law will make me right with God. Listen to what that verse said there in Romans 3 and verse number 20. It says, By the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in the sight of God. To be justified means to be made right. Most people think that the law was given to make us right. But Romans 3.20 says, No, the law was not given to justify us, and no person, no flesh, will be made right by the law of God. If I do enough good things in my life, the good things will outweigh the bad things in my life, and I will be able to get better, and God will forgive me. Therefore, if I do enough good, it will take away the bad. But God says that is not the purpose of the law. The law's purpose is to show us we are guilty, not to make us right. When the police officer pulled me over yesterday and gave me the ticket, if I had said, can I go back and drive this road again? Can I drive over the road one time and go the speed limit and you will then let me go? 
she would have said, no, you have already broken the law. You are guilty before the law and you must pay the fine. But what if I drive over the road 100 times and I obey the law every time and I only break the law one time? She would say, you still must pay the fine. This is exactly what the book of James tells us in chapter 2 and verse number 10. The Bible says there, Whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, one time, break the law of God, he is guilty of all. This is how God looks at your sin and mine. He sees us as guilty and the law's purpose is to help us see how guilty we are before God. The law cannot clean us up. The law cannot make us right. The only way to be made right is for the payment for our crime, for our sin, to be made. That's why the gospel is so important. The law cannot save you. You cannot live good enough to go to heaven because the Bible tells us all have sinned. I have sinned. You have sinned. Every man on earth has sinned. We need God's way of forgiveness that's found in the Savior.